Grab your coffee and your sketchbook because it's time for the drawing. It's the drawing show. It's the drawing show. In the last episode, we talked about proportions and getting all those in the right spots. Today, we're going to talk about the next step that I like to take when I'm drawing a portrait, and that is shading. So, remember, get out your sketchbook and let's draw together. And let's, uh, let's work on shading. Go, do it now. Let's go. All right, so three things I want to really nail home here when we are shading our portrait. First, we want to identify our light source before we even start. Second, we need to keep things simple. And three, we want to have consistent values, especially in this beginning stage of shading. So first I want to talk a little bit more about keeping it simple. And I really can't stress this enough. In this part of the portrait drawing process, we don't, we just want to have simple shapes. That's all we're going for. Simple, good looking shapes. We're looking for symmetry. We're looking for shapes that are just appealing to us. Okay, we're not, we're not getting bogged down in the details because there's a lot of details going on in this face, especially when we're using a reference. It's easy to just focus on this little part and we've lost the big picture. So we do not want to lose the big picture of the shapes of shading. So that's what we're doing here. You can see I'm not even using any curved lines really. I'm just using straight lines and I'm making the shapes, big shapes. I want to get them as big as I can. And next we are, we've identified our light source. Now what we should have done was do that at the very beginning. I mean, I did, but make sure that you do with that line coming down from that arrow on the top right. Our light is coming down from the top right, which means that whole section is going to be the lightest part of the face, the right side and towards the top. So anything that is sticking out and facing the light is going to be brighter. Anything underneath that overhanging is going to be shaded. So under the eyebrows, those are going to be darker. Under the nose, darker. Under that top lip. And under, underneath the bottom lip. And obviously, because the light source is coming from the top right, the whole left side of the face is going to be the shaded part, the shaded side of the face. So identifying that light source is really, really, really helpful in understanding how a face is lit and how to shade it. So here next, we're going to talk about consistent values. This is tied in with keeping things simple in this stage of the drawing process. We're not getting distracted by areas that are darker or lighter or a little bit more fine tuned in their value. We are just focusing right now on the same exact value and we're trying to keep that consistent throughout what we're doing and blocking in these shapes and shading. You 
you can also see that my line work that I've been doing is roughly the same value. There's a little bit of difference here and there, but we're trying to keep that pretty consistent. So here's a way to blend in this section. I like to blend this in. Uh, the pencil marks, you can use a chamois cloth like I just had there, which you can buy at a art supply store or online somewhere. Or you can just use your fingers. That works too. I like to use my fingers, but a chamois is good. It's a, go it's a good uh, blending tool, especially when you've got big fields to blend. They're really helpful and come in handy. So here's an example of one of the reasons why we want to keep things simple at this stage. We can change things when we need to. His jawline was way too strong. He was looking a little squidwardy and the reference I was using was not quite that strong of a jaw. He did have a very strong jaw, but it wasn't quite that strong. So because we didn't go too hard on the details too quickly, we can make those changes a lot easier. So now we're getting a little bit more detailed here. I'm doing a little bit of shading into that eye socket. We'll talk more, we'll get a little bit more detailed at another in another video about shading the eyes. But a good idea, before you start getting too detailed with those eyes and getting your darker lines in there, think about shading just the eye socket and treating it like a sphere or a ball and how you would shade that and how that would look. Because those dark lines of the eye, once you start getting those lines in there, those are the darkest sections and the darkest shading parts of the face. And our goal here is to build up to that. Thank you for watching this video of The Drawing Show. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if you've got any questions or anything you wanna say, just drop them in the comments. I respond to everybody's comment and um, maybe we'll talk about it in another video. So make sure to do that. Throw a like and a, and a subscribe. That's super awesome, super helpful for growing the channel. And I will see you all next time. Draw well. It's the drawing show.